So let's talk about uh, estrogen effect. So birth control pills, Primarin, drugs like these that's, that produce estrogen or estrogen-like things, and let's include xenoestrogens in there, and that's uh, estrogen effect from plastics and chemicals. They all do the same thing. So the estrogen receptors on the cells of the breast are kind of a lock and key situation. So the estrogen is a key, and it comes and lands in the estrogen receptor and switches it on. <clears throat> and it can switch it on a lot or a little. Think of a rheostat light uh, switch. So you can turn it on a lot or a little. So some estrogens turn it on just a little bit, some turn it on a lot. So the xenoestrogens really turn it on a lot. These equine estrogens that we give women uh, in birth control pills or artificial estrogens or primarin turn it on a lot. And that's why they're causing cancer because they really switch it on to a high degree. So it's a lock and key sort of situation, the estrogen receptor on the cell and it gets switched on by this estrogen or xenoestrogen uh, turning it on. And so that's the cancer the cancer promoting effect that you get from birth control pills, primarin, xenoestrogens, uh, and it's very harmful. We know without it, we've known for decades that estrogen, uh, the, these estrogen drugs, birth control pills, increase the rate of breast cancer. Not only that, they increase strokes, uh, uh, blood clots. I, I don't know who wants to volunteer for a stroke <laughs> or a blood clot, but uh, we need to be aware of the side effects. Not the side effects, they're actually direct effects of these drugs. You know, smoking is probably not a direct effect on cancer. Smoking does cause an increased rate of breast cancer. Um, and let, let's, you know, we've got to be transparent and honest here. I honestly don't think that it's the tobacco uh, near as much of a problem as it is what we do the, to the tobacco. So many times it's what we do. I'm not sure that beef is so bad, but standing a cow in a, in a beef lot and giving it GMO corn and steroids and growth hormone and antibiotics and then we eat that, that's bad for us. Um, so I don't know that it's, that it's this, but it's probably what we do to, to that. Um, smoking, uh, they put licorice, they put sugar, they put all kinds of stuff on the tobacco that when it burns, um, chars, and that char from those substances is very toxic. And so it's probably not so much the tobacco. I, I've gone all, the, all over the world and studied centigenarians. And, and I'll be honest with you, these are people over 100 years old. Most of them have a hand-rolled cigarette in the evening. And, and a shot of, of the local juice. And I'm going like, okay, <laughs> maybe these have some health benefits. It's what we do to the cigarettes, the, the, the uh, licorice, the sugar, the different things that char that are carcinogenic so much more than the tobacco. Tobacco needs to be loose where it can burn readily. I, I guess some of the cigarette companies are actually coming back out with loosely packed tobacco so that it burns better, gets more oxygen to it, and burns more thoroughly. So it's, it decreases oxygen in rates, number one. Any tissue that has less oxygen is going to have more cancer. And then you get these toxic chemicals coming in into the lungs, landing right there, and they go, the lungs are just two cell layers thick. It goes right through, gets to the breast, so you've got uh, decreased blood flow. But the exact direct effect, we know that it has, causes an increased rate of breast cancer. How exactly that happens, we don't want to know. We know that smoking decreases oxygen level. That's not healthy for any tissue. Um, probably uh, diminishes lymphatic drainage a little bit. Um, so that would be my, my answer to the cigarette issue.